Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to episode 9 of your Bucket or Spluget plugin tutorials. Today we are going to be looking at creating a custom inventory or a custom inventories um, as a replacement for having just our one player inventory. So <clears throat> what we're going to be looking at today is when they do slash equip, it's going to open up a new inventory and it's going to have all these items in it for them that they can then drag out um, where they'll be stored. Okay, so uh, the way we do this is we um, we have here the player's inventory. What we want to create is not a player inventory, but just a normal inventory. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove player inventory here, and we're going to remove uh, this this line here and anything to do with um, the player's old inventory, so what we've done previously. So instead, we're going to create an inventory. So we're going to type inventory, like so, I'm going to call this, uh, I don't know, let's just call it inventory, IMV again. And it's going to be equal to bucket.createInventory. Now, we have a lot of um, parameters that we can we can put in here. Uh, let's, sorry, I, uh, dot create inventory. Um, so now we want to click any of them, any of them work. I'm just going to click this one uh, to make it so we can actually see what we're going to be using today. So the inventory holder or owner, this is who owns the inventory. And because this inventory we're creating is just a custom inventory, we don't want this inventory to have a holder or owner. So we're going to put a null here. So the inventory will not have a holder or owner. The size of the inventory has to be a multiple of nine. So because we only have four items, we don't need any more than nine uh, slots in our inventory. So we're just going to make this slot nine. The reason it has to be nine is because that's a that's a row uh, in our inventory. Now we, we could just finish it here uh, and there's, there's lots more parameters we can add so if I hit comma again and hit control space you see there's, there's lots of different uh, constructors for this, not constructors, there's lots of different uh, methods to, for create inventory that we can add stuff into. We're gonna add the one with the title as well because titles are fun. Uh, we're gonna just call it, oh I'm glad you like that, hope you like that noise. <laughs> uh, we're gonna call this um, inventory equip inventory like so. So now we have to import inventory from org.bucket.inventory and now we have our new new inventory. So we now need to add all of these items that we've created here into our inventory. We can also remove this message down here as well. So we're going to say inventory.add item and you see as before we have this uh, item stack array thing so we can add all the items into here. So diamond sword, comma, stone, comma, stone pickaxe comma leather chest plate like so and then hit a semicolon at the end so we now have created this inventory that's kind of floating around in space uh, with these new items in it and we want to get the player to open this inventory when they do slash equip uh, so the way that we do this is we type player dot open inventory like so and you'll see also we have these uh, open workbenches uh, open enchanting and these take locations so what you can do is um. Uh, spawn say a block as we've done before uh, or a workbench and then get them to open it uh, the workbench can be set to invisible and we'll get into all this other stuff you know later uh, so player.open inventory but with inventories all we need is the inventory uh, object so here we put IMV for our inventory semicolon and there we have it we've created our custom inventory remember to control shift O to organize our imports and get rid of the old player inventory that we had in this class. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, next tutorial we're going to be looking at creating like so if we click on something in an inventory it will teleport us to a certain place. Uh, but for now just as a starter we're going to export this plugin uh, as a jar file and I'll see you guys in the game. Okay so we're now in the server and you see that if I do slash equip it's going to open up this inventory for us up here. Uh, called our equip inventory where we can take our diamond sword and our stone our ridiculously efficient pickaxe and our tunic and then we can just close the inventory and it will disappear and we can keep doing slash equip uh, and it will continue to uh, make a new inventory for us like so whereby we can uh, do that so that's been this uh, tutorial I know it's been relatively short uh, but it's something we need to get through just to create this and next tutorial we're going to be looking at it a little bit more uh, in depth um, with creating the like actually clickable kind of GUI thing uh, so yeah thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time